So welcome the hero of the day, the Lucky Star AC converter. This converts 240 volts to 120 volts that this OnQHT R397 uses. As you have might guessed, this Onkyo AV receiver is blown. The owner plugged it in into our Kenyan 240 volts socket. Being a unit rated at 120 volts, it just blew. So I'm just making this video to show you how I repair it. Quite an impressive device. It even has a subwoofer output which is rare on these units. So I bought this transformer when I was repairing my Pioneer SA930 amplifier. I will put a link in this video description to show you that amplifier. So let me open up this amplifier, show you the insides and the repair process or rather how I repaired it. The front there, that green thing is the display panel. That's the main transformer that powers the amplifier. And the green PCB you can see on your left side, that's the one that has all the HDMI ports for in and the HDMI out ports. So right away you can see the problem. It's The problem is this blown fuse. So I'm just going to solder this bulb across the fuse terminals. It's an 100 watts incandescent light bulb. So I'm just going to solder the bulb at the back over here to make work easier. I'll explain what the bulb is used for. So basically never replace a fuse. If you see, if you open a unit and see a blown fuse, never replace the fuse. Just use this method, solder an incandescent light bulb. I, like I said before, this is a 100 watts bulb and I'll show you how to diagnose the other problem. So I'm plugging in the AV receiver to the transformer. Then you take the transformer cable, you plug it in into the socket outlet. So essentially the bulb should remain off. So when the bulb comes on, it means the, it is a short circuit in the amplifier, which is a bad sign. So essentially what the good sign I'm looking for that's, is that the bulb should just remain off. In some scenarios, you might find the unit you are repairing comes on, but let me hope this comes on too. So those double clicks you are hearing are the relays. It clicks, then connects, then clicks again, it disconnects. This means there is low power. So the next step I'm going to do, since I know there is no short circuit, maybe a low voltage, I'll just solder a fuse wire directly ac across the fuse terminal and see if the unit will come on. I've com completely removed the bulb. And so I've soldered the wire. That's the relay you are hearing clicking twice. It's usually very good news when what you are working on just works. So the second click you just had was the speaker relays turning on. They connect to the speakers from the amplifier inside. The first click was the power relay switching on that turns on the big transformer. So this is the 16.3 ampere fuse that needs to be replaced for it to work. And now it's testing time. Stay up to 